city of Freeport swore in five new aldermen this week. They say they're working to make some big changes in the city's older neighborhoods. 13 WREX's Destin Howard is live in Freeport now with what residents are asking of the city council. Destin, what did you find out? Yeah, Brittany, earlier this week, I spoke to three of the newly elected city aldermen who say they want to do more to invest in neglected neighborhoods, big streets and dilapidated homes. Now, as we dig deeper into those concerns, I went door to door today speaking with two residents here in the third ward about the concerns they want to see addressed by city leaders. Here's what they had to say. Fixing potholes and neighborhood cleanup, two things that Freeport third ward residents have at the top of their priority list. Georgina Haynes says the damaged streets have been left unchecked for too long, not just in her neighborhood, but across the city. And I actually got in my car and drove around last year mm -hmm. on streets and took pictures and posted them on my Facebook page and called myself the Pothole Patrol um, because it was just so bad. And initially we thought it was just in our neighborhood, but in certain areas they'll fix, in certain areas they ignore. Third Ward resident and Stevenson County board member Samuel Newton lives a few blocks away from Haynes. Not only does he agree with her, but thinks a larger investment needs to be made into those neglected neighborhoods. Well, I'd like to see us have a uh, little more neighborhood revitalization. So, you know, uh, you spend money all over the city, but these older neighborhoods in most cities are being revitalized. I've had to call because buildings have fallen down, literally dropped to the ground. And it took me six months to get somebody to come and move. Yes, to get them to get that up. Newton has lived in Freeport all his life, saying that he remembers a time where more was done to invest in the third ward. There was a time when there were a few more areas of recreation. All of those have disappeared. And I think the park district has to step up to the plate and say it's not too small of an area to put a swing or a seesaw. We'll continue to ask the city of Freeport and residents about what's being done to invest in local neighborhoods as we dig deeper into that, into this topic. In Freeport, I'm Dustin Howard reporting for 13 WREX.